mountains sing to the sea raise your voices lift your hand this is the day the lord has made let all the earth rejoice i will give thanks to you my lord you have answered my saved my soul from death you are my strength and my song sing to the mountains sing to the sea raise your voices lift your heart this is the day My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love. First and foremost, we humbly request you to subscribe to our channel and share the link with others. We also have started morning offering surrender and deliverance. As you get up in the morning, you will find the link on the channel. Do pray for your family, pray for all your intentions and begin the day well. We give you these opportunities to be in touch with the Lord and take God's assistance in your life. My dear friends, we also ask you to help our channel with your prayerful support and with your financial support. Together we can proclaim the word of God and reach out to the whole world. We can do as much as possible from our side and we also request you for your help. Dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this Holy Eucharist, let us present ourselves in total surrender to God. Let us present our intentions. Let us pray for Manipur, that there may be peace. We pray for your personal intentions, intentions of your families, of the religious communities, praying for the aged, the senior citizens, and those who are sick. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. With a contrite heart, let us confess together. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, bless Mary ever worship, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us glorify the Lord together. Father, 
Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 12, verses 13 and 16 to 19. You will grant repentance after sin. There is no God other than you who cares for everything, to whom you might have to prove that you never judged unjustly. Your justice has its source in strength. Your sovereignty over all makes you lenient to all. You show your strength when your sovereign power is questioned, and you expose the insolence of those who know it. But disposing of such strength, you are mild in judgment. You govern us with great lenience, for you have only to will, and the power is there. By acting thus, you have taught a lesson to your people, how the virtuous man must be kindly to his fellow men. And you have given your sons the good hope that after sin, your will grant repentance. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. O God, you are good and forgiving. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my voice. Your response? O God, you are good and forgiving. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Your response? O God, you are good and forgiving. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abundant in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. Your response? O God, you are good and forgiving. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Chapter 8, verses 26 to 27. The Spirit himself expresses our plea in a way that could never be put into words. 
the spirit comes to help us in our weaknesses for when we cannot choose words in order to pray properly the spirit himself expresses our plea in a way that could never be put into words and god who knows everything in our hearts knows perfectly well that he means and that the pleas of the saints expressed by the spirits are according to the mind of god the word of the lord thanks be to god gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia may the father of our lord jesus christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o god chapter 13 verses 24 to 43 Jesus put a parable before the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everybody was asleep, his enemy came, sowed Daniel all among the wheat and made off. When the new wheat sprouted and ripened, the Daniel appeared as well. The owner's servants went to him and said, "Sir, was it not good seed that you sowed in your field? If so, where does the darnel come from?" "Some enemy has done this," he answered. And the servants said, "Do you want us to go and weed it out?" But he said, "No, because When you weed out the darnel you might pull up the wheat with it let them both grow till the harvest and at harvest time i will say to the reapers first collect the darnel and tie it in bundles to be burnt then gather the wheat into my barn the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters any work any mission we take up we already build castles in our minds we already think about the good that we are going to do and the end good but we never foresee the evil that can come on the way when you are building a house you have a good intention to begin the construction of the house but as you begin you will find somebody or the other in the neighborhood would file a complaint and block your work which you had never foreseen or sometimes somebody will put an hurdle to stop your work or to make it very expensive or someone will come and destroy what you are doing and then you have not worked out these unfortunate moments and events this is what we are going to reflect on today the gospel reading from matthew gives us a passage so relevant even in our lives today that a owner sows good seed but the evil one comes in the absence of the owner and sows weed the bad seed the evil seed and as the crop the wheat grows 
the danel the evil one was visible and was seen along with the wheat the servants asked the owner do you want us to go and weed out this danel and he says no because when you pull out this danel you will also pull out the wheat the good seeds the good plant therefore he said wait till the end and i will tell the reapers to collect the danel first burn it and then cut the wheat and put it in my barn such a beautiful parable the lord has presented to us so revel- relevant in our lives yes a farmer too when he wants to grow crops he dreams a lot before the season he sows the seeds but lot of unfortunate events and things come on his way there will be lot of weeds that will grow and eat up the roots of the good plants and his work will be doubled so the owner the farmer has to be shrewd enough how to deal with the weed and how to deal with the crop here the lord is giving us very good message that in life in our situations in our day to day living we have all types of people god intended everyone to be good but we have people of all types those who obey the will of god and those who deliberately disobey god and how is god going to punish all those who live in sin no he gives us an opportunity till the end till the reaping is done till the final judgment and when the time comes the final judgment he will separate the evil separate the good and he will punish the evil many a times we feel in our lives people who do evil people who suppress the weak they are flourishing in life but we only see things within the periphery of this world periphery of living in this world we do not think about life next we do not think about eternal life this is a very temporary life how long can we live 20 years 30 years 40 years 50 60 70 80 90 100 and do what later what about the eternal life the life that we enjoy today is not that what will be in the life next what we sacrifice today what we live in the commandments of god we will live to eternity this is what god tells us and to us the lord says have a merciful heart towards the sinners be compassionate both the readings we hear the first reading from wisdom and the gospel the same thing but god gives us his spirit the promptings to live in our day to day living as we see in the second reading from romans spirit is there with us in every discerning way discerning event and we need to listen to the spirit of god and this spirit the gift is free that god has given to us and therefore we need to obey god through the spirit through the promptings that we receive so my dear friends let us introspect and look into our lives what type of life do we live do we live in the commandments of god or 
we disobey God's word, God's commandments, and live selfishly in order to enjoy this life and ruin life to come. Let us ask God's grace to inspire us to live good life and to partake in the life that is to come to live eternal life. Amen. Let us profess our faith together. I, I believe in God, in God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us go deep within ourselves and communicate with God all those intentions we have at our individual level at our family's level, at our parish level, and as the Mother Church. Let us present our poor Francis that he may be with good health. Let us pray for all the cardinals, bishops, priests, deacons, religious, on all the lay faithful, that together we may give witness to the world that we belong to Christ and our ways are good and we are forgiving. Let us pray for Manipur in a very special way that the Lord may intervene in their lives and help them to look for peace and to live in peace. We pray for our political leaders, governments, that they may seek peace in their state, in their country, and in the world. We pray that they may care for the sick, the marginalized, the poor, and the weak. We pray for all the families. We pray that the Lord may bless us with unity, with love. We pray for the broken marriages, that the Lord may inspire them to unite, to know the importance of the sacrament of marriage. We pray for those couples who seek for God's help and assistance for the gift of child. We pray for those who are looking for jobs. We pray for those who are with cancers, tumors, those in the hospitals, those in their homes, sick, the aged, on the deathbed. We pray for those who are suffering due to various illnesses with viral fever and diseases. We pray for those who are suffering due to natural calamities. We pray for seasonal rain in those areas where it is not raining. We pray for all the Christian families, especially those who are experiencing persecution, sufferings, because they belong to Christ. Let us ask our dear Lord to strengthen us in faith. Like the mustard seed, so tiny, but grows into a bush and accommodates birds of the air to 
build their nests and to shelter them. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you all a very joyful day with your family and friends. Everyone need compassion, a love that never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone need forgiveness, the kindness of a savior, the hope of nation. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. Forever, author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever, author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave Shine a light and let the whole world see Singing for the glory of the risen King Jesus, shine a light and let the whole world see Singing for the glory of the risen King Savior, He can move the mountains my God is mighty to save, He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered.